We're probably live by now, Rox. You want to tell them what we're reading tonight? The the night before the night before Christmas. Bam. Why are we reading the night before the night before Christmas? Because it is, for us, it really is the night before the night before Christmas. Ask them if they, think, if they have any guesses for what we'll read tomorrow night. Do you have any guesses here what we're reading tomorrow night? If so, put them in the comments below. Make sure you like, subscribe, all that. All right, that's all I'm going to do for this. We're not on YouTube, but we will be. All right, let me see this bad boy. Let go of it, please. This is by Natasha Wing, illustrated by Mike Lester. Mike <laughs> Lester. Okay, here we go. T'was the night before the night before Christmas with too much to do. Our tree wasn't up yet, and Mom had the flu. <laughs> Our cookies were burned. There were presents to wrap. Mom sniffed. What I need is a long winter's nap. <laughs> that probably won't last very long at all. <laughs> but instead, we drove miles to go get our tree. Last week there were millions, now there were three. That does not feel good. Oh yeah. Dad tied the tree to our car. This will just have to do. Mom nodded gloomily and sneezed. Ah, ah, achoo! We dragged our tree in through the front door. It dropped half its needles all over the floor. Just then, Patrick pointed on to something quite shocking. Oh no, there were holes in everyone's stocking. Oh. Hey, their family looks just like ours. Because it's you. No, no, no. Look over there. Because All right, let's keep on reading. That, 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 oh, four of them. Yep, yeah, you're right. Just like four for us. Instead, we hung socks by the chimney with care. I hope that St. Nick would fill up my spare. Things will get better, I thought as I crawled into bed. Maybe visions of sugar plums, plums will dance in my head. Instead, I lay wondering, gazing up at the moon. What on earth is a sugar plum? Is it a candy? Or a prune? Don't ask me, because I don't know. Yeah, I don't know it either. Early the next morning, I woke up from a dream. Be careful, Harold! I heard my mom scream. Out on the lawn, there rose such a clatter. I sprang from my bed to see Dad on a ladder. He was stringing up lights on the rooftop and gutters, outlining the railings, the windows, and shutters. <laughs> Bust this. I need... When he plugged in the cord, not a single light lit. Did we have extra bulbs? Yes, but none of them fit. So off to the mall, our family did drive. When Dad saw the crowds, he cast psych salt sakes alive. Psych sakes. I need to blow my nose. I'm not blind with anything. Go blow your nose real quick, Anna, if you need to. Better run. Still reading. Light. We searched everywhere. I about said lights. Lights is at the top in the picture. Not part of the words. We searched every store. All the lights were sold out. But I found something for Grandpa. Silly Gilly the Trout. Finally all done with our last minute shopping. We flew past the food court without even stopping. But I want to see Santa, Patrick said with a whine. We pushed through the crowd. Wow, what a line. It wrapped around the counters and down the first floor, then wound through kids' clothing and out the front door. See that? Perfect. I want to see again. That's Patrick whining that he wanted to go see the Santa Claus. Huh? Eh? You saw Santa today. Look uh -huh. at that when we're done. After waiting for hours, at last, our big chance, Santa roared. Ho, ho, ho. Then Pat wet his pants. 
Let's go home, we all cried. Mom, Patrick, and me. Even jolly old dad sighed and said, I agree. I feel like I'm nailing this part stuff. So on the way home, we sang the Jingle Bell song. <laughs> All the while I was thinking nothing else could go wrong. When what through our wondering eyes should appear, what a gigantic mess. That much was clear. The tree was knocked over. My snow globe was shattered. Ornaments were broken. Tinsel was scattered. Uh-oh, it was all the cat and the mouse. Bad kitty! I shouted. <laughs> then Mom started to weep. Christmas is ruined, and I still need some sleep. I don't know who says this part of it. No, it's not, Sugar Plum. These things are just stuff. Christmas is about love, and we have quite enough. Said Dad. <laughs> He tucked Mom into bed for some much-needed rest. Then we three busy elves all gave it our best. Oh, just the perfect family. Oh, just the perfect family. As snow gently fell, turning the earth sparkly white, I knew in my heart Christmas would turn out just right. Dad read us a book and gave us a kiss. It was my favorite story and began like this was the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. We know that. Winch. Alright, well, anything you want to say? Well, she's all sand today. A couple reindeer. Yeah, um, and if you go there, you, if, you would probably want to wear a rain boot because on my boots, I wore my boots and they were not rain boots. And they are covered with, with mud. Yep. Uh, we went to one of Santa's, uh, what, what do we call it? Just it's one of his like, spare barns. Well, it's like a reindeer, it's like a reindeer farm. That's exactly we what it's got called. To, we got to I see. Um, reindeer Ranch. Yeah, Ridge. Reindeer Ranch. Huh? Ridge. Reindeer Ridge. Yeah. One of those. Um, and, um, we got, and we got to see two reindeer. And they were both named Comet and Cupid. And there was a third one back there, but he was a little bit, we don't want to say stupid, but I had to rhyme, go, I had to go that route, you know what I mean? What was his name? I forgot. Sandy. 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 Spin. Um, kind of like yeah, all frozen. Yeah, he's on the naughty list because he's a little overprotective of the girl reindeers. <laughs> he's nine months old. Yeah. And, He's uh, a baby. We're in the middle of the rut. <laughs> that your book. <laughs> little go get her. Thank God for whatever it is. <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> I'm sorry. You know what I was thinking, Rox? If that old boy was smart, he'd just fly to the next little thing. Yeah. Problem solved. Yeah. <laughs> But he's not going to leave over the girl. <gasps> what? Go ahead, say it. Say it. Tell, tell us what you're thinking right now. Tell the world what you're thinking. Just, he's in love. I think you're right. <laughs> Little Cupid. Cupid and Comet. <laughs> and Sven. I wonder who would win. I'm a poet and I Comet. even know it. Um, Alright, let's let, let's go ahead and knock this out. You wanna tell everybody Comet, good night? Comet's like the only um the only reindeer who got who ate who would eat a graham cracker. Yep. Alright. Tell them good night. Good night. So long, farewell, I be this and goodbye. I hate to go and kiss you all good night. Goodbye. Goodbye.